This is persimmon. It's a tree that's absolutely wonderful for wildlife. It occurs throughout the state, never super common. Uh, we'll find it typically along edges and sometimes on flat, broad ridges down here in the southern part of the state. It has many characteristics that make it hard to separate from black gum. It has these simple leaves with a single leaf blade and an entire leaf margin. So the leaf margin or edge has no teeth. Um, and again, it is alternate like black gum, the leaves alternate sides. Um, what distinguishes persimmon from black gum really is the twig and the bud characteristics. Also the, the petiole or this little stalk on the leaf is typically purple in the, in the late summer like it is now. And the buds and twigs are very dark in color. Remember black gum buds are green with multicolors. Persimmon buds actually only have two bud scales and they're really dark, almost black in color. So that's a great ID characteristic. Also, if you cut into the twig, it'll have these big open chambers in the center, which makes it a great ID characteristic. But what makes this tree really unique is the fruit. So we get these large berry-like fruits that occur, and uh, they don't occur on all persimmon trees. There are male, separate male and female trees. The males produce male flowers that pollinate the female trees. And then the female trees can produce these large berry-like fruits. Um, they'll have a calyx or a leafy structure right at the top where it attaches. And then these fruits will get a little bit larger. They'll get about an inch in diameter. They'll become bright orange when they're ripe and they're very fruity. But if you uh, eat the fruit before it's ripe, it can be very bitter and it'll actually make your mouth go kind of numb. You'll feel like you've just visited the dentist. But uh, wildlife love these things. Deer will come in and just absolutely devour these things as soon as they become ripe. Uh, possums and raccoons like them and spread them quite well as well. So this is persimmon, Diospyrus virginiana. Uh, the bark is kind of unique as well. It has an alligator hide-like appearance. It's very blocky. It's another great ID characteristic for persimmon.